Ms. Uh, Goodling testified before this committee um, that um, uh, Senator Domenici uh, had raised concerns about uh, um, U.S. Attorney David Iglesias. Um, and um, indicated that um, she briefed you uh, on that fact prior to your Senate testimony. Um, you were aware of it. Um, uh, in fact, in her handwritten notes, um, um, uh, there is a quote that says, Domenici says he doesn't move cases. Um, Ms. Goodling further uh, testified that you told her not to reference these concerns um, expressed by Senator Domenici um, in the materials to be used in briefing Congress. Um, um, is that correct or is it incorrect? She explained, and uh, to the best of my memory, I, I my, my question is: Did you yeah. did you instruct her not to include um, references to Senator Domenici's statement in her briefing materials in which she was preparing you uh, for your testimony? I don't remember it uh, that way. What I remember is we were trying to identify the issues, concerns associated with different U.S. attorneys, and we were um, discussing what those issues would be in relationship to David Iglesias. Um, and uh, certain uh, characterizations uh, were being listed in, those, in that chart, which you now have. And um, that's about as far as I can remember is discussing those different characterizations. So, so you deny that you... Um I deny it because it's instructed it's, her not to include uh, the references that uh, to Senator Domenici in the briefing materials. Her memory on that may very well be correct, and what she says is that I said we should let Senator Domenici speak for himself rather than us speaking for him. And uh, I don't specifically recall that, but that that may be uh, that may be correct. So. Um, Did you uh, find uh, Senator Domenici's um, um, observations about uh, Mr. Iglesias um, to be an important factor in, uh, in the fact that he was on the list and was terminated? Well, when I saw his name on that list and I had to make my own judgment as to whether or not I objected to it, the f phone conversation that I had um, with Senator Domenici on October 4th, which was a brief conversation in, in which he uh, expressed his own um, uh, dissatisfaction. Um, that certainly was a factor in my mind when I saw the name on the list. Um, and just as the Attorney General said, uh, it affected his judgment. Uh, so um, if you had instructed um uh, that that communication not be part of the briefing materials and uh, fail to fully disclose that to uh, the Senate. Um, uh, would it be accurate then for you uh, to say that, uh, um, that you were fully um, uh, informing the Senate about uh, factors that were important in uh, making the determination of whether to put somebody on the list, leave them on the list, or remove them from the list? I think it wasn't inconsistent with that. And we were being um, uh, uh, as uh, forthcoming as we could, because we were identifying the things that we understood to serve as these justifications. But we didn't always reference uh, the source of that information. Uh, there, we had congressional complaints um, involving um, uh, Carol Lamb in San Diego, we probably identified Carol Lamb as somebody who was not con moving or not uh, acting consistent with the priorities of the department. So 
in my mind, I was distinguishing between what the factors were that had been identified uh, from the um, perhaps the source of that and trying to respect the process of letting uh, members um, you know, convey their own views. And uh, that, that's about as best I can remember as to why we would try to uh, uh, distinguish there.